So, this is my friend Alex. Hello. <laughs> and I know Alex. Um, Alex, explain how I know you. Uh, I know your downstairs neighbor. Yes. Basically. And and randomly, I needed you needed people for right. a short movie that I was shooting, and she called him up, and he didn't even know who I was, and then he said that he would be in my I, movie. I would gladly be Dr. Mark for you. And so, and we'll put a link in the, let's see, would it be that way or that way? One of those two ways. If you're in the box, um, which way would it be? I think it would be that it's way. that way? Okay. Oh, we'll put a link to the video of him as an actor. <laughs> now he's just being himself. So... I'm going to ask you questions about yourself. You're not originally from here. You're from... I'm from Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Yes. And for all our viewers, here is Oregon. Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Did you live your entire life in Eau Claire? Yes, I was born and raised in Eau Claire, Wisconsin until I turned... I don't know how... It was right after college, so about four... Three and a half years ago? Yeah. About three and a half years ago. Okay. So I moved out here. And what did you major in? I major, I have uh, an annoying major. It was a comprehensive math physics major with emphasis in math and emphasis in education. So, one of those multidisciplinary things. Yeah, one of those multidisciplinary <laughs> things, really. It's, I just say math, physics, education usually, but that was the actual title of it. And, and what prompted you to move to Oregon? What prompted me to move to Oregon? Uh, a number of factors. Uh, the person I was married to at the time, um, wanted to come out here because of a grad program that was here. Mm -hmm. Two, I had lived in Eau Claire my entire life, and so I, I just needed to get out. And, just see something different. Yeah, and the West Coast seemed really nice, so okay. those are the main reasons. So since Halloween is coming up, um, you should tell me the most frightening memory that you've ever had. <laughs> the most and if it's frightening too, And if it's too frightening, you can like notch one back to the slightly, almost, almost most frightening. Okay, I can't think of the most frightening, although I did have a really frightening experience a few days ago. Uh -huh. More of, I was an idiot type of a thing, and I really should have been thinking, alright, so I was, I think it was, what was it? I think it was this last Friday, mm -hmm. I was working karaoke, and I worked until about 2 a.m., and one of the people there I kind of know, I've been to their place once or twice before, and... They're like, why, why don't you come over? Why don't you come over to my place afterwards? And they had been drinking a bit and stuff. And I'm just like, well, sure, I'll just show up. Whenever they they mm -hmm. said there were gonna be a bunch of other people there. I'm like, I really have nothing better to do. You know, I don't want to go to sleep yet. Sure, why not? Yeah. So I show up, and she's not there at all. No one's there. The the this roommate. Like an empty house. Yeah. The roommate actually shows opens the door after like I knock three times. Yeah. She's like, she's obviously very sleepy. Right. And she, <laughs> she's like. I think she left already. So I start to leave, and as I'm leaving, then she pulls up, uh -huh. and she went and got Taco Bell or something, and we're in her place for a while, she's like, everybody else didn't show up, and so we're just hanging out. She's like, hey, I know a, a guy down at um, Dante's, it's mm -hmm. a place downtown, we can, you know, he wants to hang out, so let's go down there, and so we go down there, I get into her car, and I totally forget, she is drunk. Oh my god. And she is the craziest driver. I was very scared for my life at the time. So like we are like barreling down roads. It's wet yeah. pavement. I'm just like, oh god, I'm this is like the only time I'm I'm usually the calmest person in a car. Uh -huh. If someone like nearly hits somebody, I'm just like, Oh, you almost hit somebody. But I was literally holding on to the little safety strap the entire time. I was just like, Oh god, oh god, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> So what happened next? Did you get home we, safely? Yeah, I, we eventually got to the place that we were headed to, and then, you know, she had to, time to undrunkify herself over there. And the trip back was much less scary. So That's very good. Yeah, and then I drove home and vowed never to do that again. <laughs> I'm glad to see that you make good decisions and that you're, yeah, you're I, here for our I'm interview today. I'm the sober today. one. <laughs> yes, that's excellent. And um, is there any last words that you would like to say to anyone in the world who's listening? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't have that creative to think of something on my own. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, thank you very much. And it's very good to have you on my Thanks for show. having me. Bye. The end. See? It wasn't terribly painful. No, it wasn't painful. Good. And...